Ladies and gentlemen, Salam Sejahtera and a very good afternoon. Allow me as a member of the Bar Council Constitutional Law Committee to share with you in English um, what we're here to share with you today, really federal and state relations, the third part of our My Constitution campaign. You know, one of the first things that I ask people when I meet them for the first time is the question, are you local? I'm sure that's something familiar to all of you. Uh, because in the KLPJ area, not many of us are local. And it's very easy to find out. Um, all you have to do is stay in KL during Chinese New Year. It's a ghost town. Everyone has gone home. And it's beautiful because in our Balik Kampong tradition, many of us go back to our hometowns and then we realize not a lot of us are actually local. My story is no different. I was born in KL, but I grew up in Kuching for 15 years in the glorious, beautiful state of Sarawak, where we will probably have our next launch as well. And I knew nothing of KL. All I knew was that I was born in Pantai Hospital. And when I was in Kuching, I thought Pantai Hospital was near the Pantai, near the beach. Nice place to, to, to be born. Imagine the shock when I came to KL and I realized that there was no Pantai in Pantai Hospital. But that's, that was my experience with KL. And I used to tell people, although my heart is in Kuching, my blood is here. It says that I am from West Malaysia. My identity card says it. My now obsolete blue restricted passport, if some of you are familiar with this, also says that I'm West Malaysian. And the fact that I had to renew a study permit every year in Sarawak sealed the fact that I was West Malaysian. But am I not Malaysian? Why are there strict rules on my stay in Kuching? Well, one of the first things I learned in understanding this issue is the concept that Malaysia is a federation. Before Star Wars comes coming to your mind, this federation is a compilation or a congregation of states coming together and working together in forming Malaysia. But because of that, in a federation, each state comes together with its different history and different background and culture. And in a federation, unity is a very important factor. But uni unity is not uniformity. In the second Rakyat Guide, we learn that parliament is a legislative body, which means it makes the laws of the land. But a federal parliament cannot make all the laws the same for all the states to be applied all the time in all situations. If you're a parent or a teacher, like I was before, you know that already. Different children need to be treated differently. And if you go to a different class, a lecture is delivered differently. Likewise, because each state is different, our constitution gives individual state assemblies, also known as Dewan Undangan Negeri, the freedom to make laws on specific areas of law that are unique to their situation. Take, for example, native customs, or land matters, or protection of our national parks, which are given to the states to handle. Also in Sabah and Sarawak, they have greater freedom in handling immigration matters. And as for our parliament, what do they do? They're entrusted with national matters, like laws relating to the army, or taxes, or the civil service, and education. So why must we know all this? Let me tell you why. One of the most important constitutional principles is that we should understand the rule of law. Essentially, that means no one is above the law. Not you, not me, not our politicians, not our judges or grandparents. Even our government is under the law. But how do you make sure that our federal and state governments are following the constitution? Accountability. This is where you and I come in. We make sure that our federal and state governments are obeying the law and doing their job. We can speak to our elected representatives, get answers from cabinet ministers or state exco members, and praise or critique them for the work that they do. But we must first know what they do and what powers they have, or we would be barking up the wrong tree all the time. And that's where the constitution comes in. By knowing what powers the federal and state gov legislatures and governments have, we will also know who should be accountable for what. 
And so you will find in our third Rakyat Guide, we give you some examples. Who do you go to if you want to know what the police are doing to improve security in your neighborhood? If you want to rent a cinema, which authority do you get your license from? Who do you want to consult if you have recently established a new crocodile farm as a national tourist attraction? Or your 300-year-old house as a national heritage? Has this ever crossed your mind? Well, the founders and crafters of our constitution did not leave that stone unturned. As a result of their hard work, they have managed to define the powers of our federal and state authorities. As always, the constitution therefore becomes our guide in increasing the rule of law and ensuring that all authorities, whether in the state or in the federation, abide by the law. And that makes for good governance, good citizenship, and a better country. So how can you be involved in making a better Malaysia? Firstly, pick up a copy of our brand new spanking third Rakyat Guide, Federal and State Relations. And if you have not read the first and second Rakyat Guides as well, pick those up. And secondly, join us later for an eye-opening discussion on the conversations on the Constitution, state powers, a reality or myth, with our distinguished guests. Thirdly, and very importantly, once this launch is over, spread the word, walk the talk, and let us dutifully perform our role as citizens of this beautiful nation. Before I end, I wish to offer my thanks on behalf of the committee for the support of the Slango State Government in today's launch. It is always wonderful when our constitutional institutions empower the Rakyat to become right-thinking, constitutionally-minded citizens. For that, you have our utmost appreciation. And to my fellow committee members, I must say that I am proud to serve alongside you in this movement. Constitutional law has never been this exciting. Thank you.